Hey crafty peeps, it's me, Catalina. Well, I am back for now. And I just wanted to share with you the wands that I completed. Yes, I made some wands today. So, here is one. And this here is using graphic 45 paper and lots of trim. So, um, which graphic 45 paper is this? I don't know, but I could probably tell you. It is this one. It is... Hmm. There we go. Time to Flourish Collection, April Flourish. So it was from using this here cardstock. This is double-sided. Just so y'all can see. Um, actually, I think that's the wrong one. Eh, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong paper. It's the same collection. Time to Flourish collection. It's just the wrong month. This one here is April. No, this one here is... What month is this? Hmm. Now you got me thinking here, peoples. Oh my word, it's right here in front of me. Sorry. So this is August. <coughs> August. Time to flourish. So that's that paper. And yes, it's double-sided. I got this here at Tuesday mornings a while back ago. And so now, what I did was I cut the saying out and I framed it. I put some tool in between. I used my Cricut Rosette, um, hmm, cartridge to cut out the, the rosette. And then I used a doily from Michaels. And then I used this here flower that was gifted to me from my friend Patty. Now, um, the actual sticks, I was spending a lot of time altering these straws. And these here I got at Walmart a while back ago. Yeah. Let's see. Um, from Walmart. They were 98 cents. And what I did was I took a piece of the cardstock that I made the rosette out of and I wrapped it around my straw. And then I took Gorilla Tape, clear packaging tape, and covered it with um, the tape and then I actually put a little bead or a couple of little beads on there and then I'll I'll hang a little charm down here but um, I was spending my most of my time altering the sticks the the whatever you want to call it the straws so that's one Then here is number two. Oh, I got this one here is not done, but it will be done. It'll be done tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> but I made sure that my my wand was done, or my stick was done. Okay. And I don't know what I'm gonna put on the back side of this here yet, but I'll figure something out. But. I thought this here was a cute idea and I'm probably going to do that to the majority of all my wands now and put um, beads down here or some sort of embellishment down here and some of them will have charms to hang and then some of them will just be like flowers or something like that. So yeah. And then this one here I think is my favorite right now. And... 
these here are the doilies that I got from Walmart, or not Walmart, um, Michaels. And then I put some tool in here. This tool I got from a beautiful lady in um, England, and she sent that to me. And then the flowers, I don't remember where I got the flowers from, but they're paper flowers. And they're white and gold. And then the rosette, I used my Cricut, um, my Cricut uh, cartridge for that. And then my straw, I ended up using my Paris washi tape. Sorry for the close up, but I want to get the, I have Paris washi tape here. And so um, I covered my, my straw with that and put a little beads on the bottom there. And I'm, I got a Eiffel Tower charm that I'm gonna hang from there. And yeah, so that's that one. And then here's another that I made today. And there's blue beads on the bottom. And this here is washi tape. This is two different types of washi tape that I use to um, uh, uh, alter my straw. And then some flowers and some waste aways. And then I, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in the center here yet. I'm, I'm figuring it out. And then last is the pink one that I made. Once again, washi tape. I used washi tape for the straw. And then there's a couple of beads at the bottom. And not sure what I'm going to put in the center yet. But I'll figure something out. So yeah, that is what I've worked on today. And so I'm going to leave you guys with that. I'm just going to put these over here like this. And hopefully y'all liked what you see. Those are my wands that I worked on today. I don't have um, seam binding, so I'm probably going to use like string or ribbon that I have to hang from them but it's going to be a challenge for me to color coordinate because that's my that's my downfall anyway okay I'll leave you with that stay safe and stay crafty bye love yous